going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Today's video is brought to you by Lancaster Archery Supply for all your 3D and target archery needs. I think that's their slogan. Did we ever figure out their slogan from the last video? 3D and target archery? Does it say on that? Leading the world in 3D and target Leading archery. Leading the world in 3D and target archery. If you ever call in there, they have like this catchy jingle. Anyways, we have an unboxing today sent in from Lancaster Archery. We're gonna open this bad boy up. And I kinda know what it is, but I've never used it, I don't think. So it's gonna be a good one. Let's go ahead and dive right in. We have Hamski Gen 2 Pro Third Axis Level. So I have their original one, their, their generation one, I suppose but this is the Gen 2. It's got a couple extra little features, new compact design, they got a patent on it, maximizing accuracy, said twice on both sides. So it's double maximizing, interesting. And we got a bunch of garbage there, and we got some extra stickers. There we go. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. There's really not a whole lot in packaging. It's pretty standard. Um, and what you get with this is you have this dealio and then that dealio. So this is very similar to the one, the first generation, I suppose. It's a clamp, but it has, I think it has an extra level on it. Looks like a more robust bracket that comes in and out. So you spin this side and that bracket comes in and out. So that's pretty robust. Let me see. Let me see if I can find my other one. This was the first generation. Pretty standard. There was one level, this one twisty tie or twisty thing, and you were limited on how wide it was already. But this one, this one's upgraded a little bit, and I think you can get it, get it out pretty far all the way. You can get it out pretty far. Oh, it's the same zap. Never mind. So there's nothing. No new news there. It's just a little bit different design. You're still, that's the maximum, but we got an extra level, a couple extra cool things. So let's go ahead and throw this on a bow and show all the features that this Hamski third axis level can do. Okay, so you actually get very detailed instructions how to go over your first, second, and third axis leveling on your bow right with the packaging. You just open it right up. So that is very nifty. So we're gonna go over here, I have a bow. This is my TRX 34 and I just jacked up this side. I moved it all around. So it's gonna be messed up somewhat. So we're gonna have to fix it. You will need a bow vise of some sorts to do this. I am using Last Chance Archery Easy Press. Uh, it's a pretty good press or, or vise I should say. It's not a, not a press, but um, you do need an emptied an empty bow, so no bows, no like accessories on it, or it just gets too heavy. All right, so I'm actually gonna go step by step with these directions. I do know how to do it, but just step by step. Oh, Riley's here. Come on, man, sir. What's up, guys? We're filming a bit, but you can stand video? behind the scenes. Cool. <laughs> Were you rolling through that all the way? Yep. All right, we should keep that in there. Um, okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go step by step. I know how to do it, but we're just gonna go step by step through how Hamski has the directions. So step one is leveling the bow. This is why you need a bow vise, relatively sturdy, relative. So I'm just gonna eyeball this. And then it says you take your leveling device and it has a, uh, a little string groove on it. And you're actually gonna clamp this right to your string I just backed it all the way out for the last, but there's a little string groove right there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it over here. You're gonna install it on your string. And you're gonna make your string completely level, which is gonna make your bow completely level. You know what might actually be better? Let's put it on the bow press for this. Bow press, if you have the last chance bow press that can spin up and down, it's like rock solid. I want it to be rock solid. 
All right, so we're moved over to the bow press now. This will just give us a more solid working space. Pretty close. I'm actually just gonna move the legs on the bottom of the press to get this. Money. All right, so now, I guess if you have a very solid foundation with your bow press and you level your bow press, you should be pretty good every time you do this. So we just leveled our bow press and we're rock solid right now. Let's tighten this back down a little bit. We're level, our string's level, our bow's 100, 99%, 100% level. So now we got that locked down. Now you're gonna take this, let me grab the instructions. You're gonna take this and use this on your first axis. So your first axis is actually, if you have a site like an Excel or a Shibuya, you're gonna first use it on your first axis, which is this right here, which is using, using these two screws. And inside these two screws, the holes that they're in are actually like oval. So when you loosen that, it shifts this way, your first axis. So if your first axis is off and you go from 20 yards to 100 yards, you're actually gonna be running your sight at a diagonal. So if everything's perfect, you could have your second axis and your third axis actually right, but your first axis, first axis could be off. And everyone, you know, you do a walk back tune, everything and everything's good, but you're still getting these dramatic left and right changes as you go from like 20 to 100 yards, it could be your first axis. So we're gonna check that real quick. It's always tricky how to find how to find a good spot on this, but I'm gonna use this part of my AccuTouch. This actually might be good. Yeah, so mine's good. I've, I didn't move this when I jacked it all up. Um, but you see, whoa. see that's 100% good. The bow is 100% good. So my first axis up and down this way is 100%. So now, now what you're gonna do is your second axis. So your second axis, you're actually going to keep it on the sight bar where we just had it, and you're gonna double check the bubble level in your sight. So let's look at that. Put this on. It really doesn't matter how you have it. I guess I'll have it like that. Okay, that level is 100%. Now we look at our scope. Oh, and our scope is pretty dang good. I guess it's slightly off. I wonder if I can just crank on it so you guys can see a dramatic change here. Let me loosen it. All right, so we have our Hamsky tool indicating that true level is here. And I just loosened the screws to show you guys, but let's say your, your bubble was down over there. That's wrong. This is your second axis, it goes up and down. This should be dead nuts matching whatever this level is. So we're gonna go ahead just loosen these two screws right in front. If you have an AccuTouch, it's labeled second axis. You loosen these two screws, get that lined up, and just line it up right with that. So we have the levels 100%. First axis done, second axis done. Now we gotta do our third axis. So for the third axis, let's actually see what it says here it wants us to do. Okay, so with your Hamski still connected in the same exact spot, comes with this little rod. And this rod has a little indicator on each side. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in this top little screw hole. There's a screw hole right on the top, either side. And I'm going to thread this all the way through. About to right there, so you can see each side. But then, I already did this off camera, but I just created a plumb bob. And I, if you don't know what a plumb bob, it's essentially you tie a piece of string up to the ceiling put something heavy underneath so the gravity's pulling it in a directly straight line. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bow and you're actually gonna draw it back and check it at full draw. So let's take an arrow and you're gonna draw the bow back and line up with each indicator. You might have to move this around to the bottom side of the site if you can't see it. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw back and you're gonna indicate this top part and bottom part right on the line. And then at the same time, with your other eye, you're gonna look and see where the level is. 
to see if it's kind of goofy i know but it, this is legit because when you draw back your bow does different things so we're going to start at directly just straight just to just to get a feel for it and to see if i can see the thing okay i can see it i can see it and i'm level so my second axis obviously obviously it's good but now what you're going to do so you're gonna either go down or up at a 45 degree angle, line up your, your plumb string with this rod, and then check your bubble. And then from there, depending on if it's on or not, is you're gonna move your sight in and out, which is your third axis. So let's see, I'm gonna go down. Yeah, I gotta move this. So what I'm gonna do, I really can't see the top part. So what I'm going to do, scrub this down and just put it on the bottom side so that I can see this line a little bit better. I'm going to mount it right on this surface. You just got to find a flat surface on your site, not on your bar, but somewhere on your site. So I'm going to go right there. All right, let's try that again. I just couldn't see the top and the bottom all the way. Let's try it. All right, so my bubble is just slightly, slightly to the right, and that takes a little bit of time, and I would suggest doing it several times, but it is just slightly to the right. So now what we're gonna do, is we are going to bump our third axis, just a touch. So let's try it again. And this is gonna be a little bit of trial and error if you're doing this, if you're doing this in your basement or in the shop or whatever. Take, take some time doing this. Um, but this is, this is the correct way to do it. You can do, you can do it with, uh, with like a bright sight, this deal, which I've had in my videos before. And this is like a quick fix, but the 100% correct way to do it is this way. So let's try it again. Way off, wrong way. Moved it the wrong way. Still way left. That's good. Oh. That's like an exercise just to like check on the bubble and check back and forth, but we got it. So that, and it is very hot in the shop. If you cannot tell, I'm sweating on the cheeks. We had to shut the AC off because it's so loud and we're getting our audio. But there we go. That was actually pretty stupid simple. I might even try to wait it just to keep that plumb bob up there all the time. I might run through my other bows just to double check that they're set up. But there you go, the Hamsky tool. And the Hamsky tool also is very um, like versatile in what it can do. So if you're setting up your bow, if you're setting up your bow and need to get um, your rest aligned and everything, you can put this on your string to get the bow 100% level and everything. So it's a handy little tool. I definitely use this a lot, but it's a neat little feature that they added the string clamp on there. So it kind of, it kind of eliminates this, which this was what I used to put on the string to get the bow level. But you can do it all in one. If you got a really good vise where the bow can't move, you're all set. So you can get these, and this is a brand new item. This just came out, I believe July 1. So a brand new item, and uh, you can pick it up at LancasterArcheriesupply.com.